hello hello what is up welcome or welcome back if you're new here hi thanks so much for coming and if you're not new here thanks so much for coming back i fucking love you it is june 21st summer solstice today i'm filming this today we are just sitting down and kind of having a recap of my reading so far for 2023 we're doing the mid-year book freak out tag i did it last year and i had so much fun like sitting down and just recapping like my reading journey just seeing what's going on this year i think so it's going to be very disappointing because my reading has not been going according to plan this year for starters i set a goal of 125 books this year because i read like 101 books in 2022 so i was like i could easily do like 125 if i went at the same speed but that did not happen i started off january itself with a reading slump i read only like two books so i ended up decreasing that goal to 100 once again but I am still very 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 behind on that goal. So far I have read only 40 books out of 100. I'm currently 6 books behind schedule and that is eating at me. Recently for the past like 3-4 weeks my life has been so busy. There are so many other things going on that I'm not able to prioritize my reading as well as YouTube itself. I don't want to get into that whole thing but I am very very behind on my reading and I hope I can still get to 100 books this year. I don't have anything else to just like start off like those are the only stats we have 40 books out of 106 books behind schedule. So let's quickly start off with the questions. I have the questions in a list which I did for last year's video so I'm just gonna go through that. All credit to whoever came up with this video concept. I don't remember. I think so I must have researched it last time but I don't remember it right now my, mem my memory is kind of glitching right now like for the past few days i swear to god i have not been able to remember a single thing anyways we'll, let's just not talk about everything else because there's a lot to unpack right now the first question is the best book that i read this year the best book that i've read so far this year and that answer easily goes to alone with you in the ether by olivia blake i read this book and like right from the first page i fell in love with it it is so amazingly beautifully written the story is just so amazing and i related it to it on like a whole different level like the story really touched my heart and it really had like really long impact on me like i finished that book and then for like an entire week all i could think about was the story and the characters there are other books also which i read uh, a few honorable mentions i would like to give i would like to say tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabriel zevin the heartstopper series i also read the mysterious case of the Alpert and angels you know this is true the cat who saved the world begin again six of crows better than the movies the house across the lake so yeah i read like a lot of books this year which were really really good and the second question is worst slash least favorite book so far so for that i have like two answers they're not bad books in any way out of all of the books i've read like these two were kind of like the lowest like i like these books the least out of all of the books that i've read so the answer is the valley of fear by sir arthur conan doyle and promise boys by nick brooks both of them were severely underwhelming for me so yeah that's the reason why and we have the best sequel and that i've not read a series this year so far like i've started a few series but i've not read the sequels so for me it's the for me the answer is going to be heartstopper volume 2 and volume 3 both of them just so cute like every single time i think of that story i just burst out into a giggle and the biggest smile and i just get so happy because that series just brought so much comfort so many good vibes so many heartwarming vibes and i just love it so 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 much next question is new release you haven't read yet but want to and the answer is yellow face by rf kwang i did get a copy of it i would show it to you guys but it's like buried under a pile of books so i'm not gonna take it out right now you'll see it in the hall you probably must have seen the unboxing on my shorts so if you want to check it out then go to the shorts tab in my channel yeah i really I'm looking forward to reading Yellow Face because just looking at the book, it sounds like the most perfect book for me. So I just know I'm going to enjoy it so much. Up next, we have its biggest disappointment and I would say Promise Boys because I honestly thought that it would be very interesting, dark academia, high pace, fast, like high stakes, fast paced mystery. But 
it was very underwhelming. Biggest surprise. Oh, the answer for this is the mysterious case of the Alpert and the Angels. I went into it. You know why? You know, I want to be very honest. The only reason why I got that book is because the publisher had a copy of it and I was like, you know what? I'll just ask for it. It's a free book. But I ended up loving it. It was a straight out, straight five out of five stars. Like that book just was so good. It was so well thought out, well planned and so beautifully executed. Like I really, really love that book. Up next we have new favorite author and the answer for it is very easy. Olivia Blake, just alone with you in the ether. I just fell in love with her writing. She writes so lyrically, so beautifully and just like she captures the emotions in a way that I just have never seen before so like I'm like on a I am going to read all of her books now this year okay so next up we have is newest fictional crush slash newest favorite character I don't really know about crushes like I don't crush a lot on characters from books uh, I have a lot of new favorite characters we have Nick and Charlie or you know what like the entire Heartstopper cast except for Tao like Tao just gets on my nerve but we have also Alex from Ninth House and my Marks from Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. <sighs> I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it. Gabriel really did him dirty. Like, I'm still not over it. I just fell in love with Marks. Like, he was such an awesome character. He was so... Mm. Why did I think of him now? I cried so much. I cried so much when I read that book. Coming on to the next question, a book that made you cry and my answer is tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Like the entire chapter, the entire chapter, the NPC, I was sobbing. I was not crying. I was sobbing with hiccups. Like, you know, <gasps> like that while I sob. Like I sobbed so fucking much. Like oh my god then we have a book that made you happy and the answer would be begin again by emma lord i went into it ex expecting like a college romance with like a lot of spice and just like a superficial college romance but it ended up being such a warm tale about finding yourself and beginning again and letting go of the past and it just made me so happy the characters had so much depth like it felt like a fully fleshed out a rounded out story like all of the supporting characters the friends and everything about that book was just so good the most beautiful book you've bought the answer to that are actually many many books but like a few of them were review copies so i've not like purchased them yeah, the answer will be as long as the lemon trees grow by Zulfa Katu. I am sorry if the pronunciation is not correct, but the cover of that book is just so, so, so pretty. It is all like blue and yellow and there is gold detailing on it. Like it reflects in the light. It is just so pretty. And we have the last question, which is what books you need to read by the end of this year? Oh my God, I have so many. I made like a whole video on this, like books I need to read in 2023. Like slap me if I don't read these books. But like a few main which come to my mind are Piranesi, Addy LaRue, Night Circus, Talis C, Lord of the Rings, Crooked Kingdom. And what else? On this shelf, what books do we have? Lessons in Chemistry, Cleopatra Frankenstein, what the books Cavi Soto is back I hope I get a chance to read that book and we have like my whole mythology books over here so we have Ariadne Electra and Atlanta I want to read all of those as well there are like so many books which I need to read and trust me I am going to I did not expect this video to be done so quickly like I prepared myself to sit and talk for like a half an hour or so but I really wrapped everything up within like 13 14 minutes i'm thinking of doing my top like my favorite books that i've read in 2023 so far but i'm just gonna wait until the end of june to like add a few more books see if i find a few more books to add for that video and then probably i'll do in the early in like the first two weeks of july so subscribe and stay tuned for that let me know in the comments below how your reading has been this year and just hit the thumbs up button it really helps me out with the algorithm and i just know that you are watching and interacting with the video thank you so much for watching i will see you very very soon bye